In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make these Kuranuki style ring holders that look like little mountains. These have been carved out of clay and for these I use around 100 grams of clay. You can use any type of clay you have. Here I'm using stoneware clay, but if you want to use air dry clay, if you don't have a kiln, these will also work. I then shape that clay into small little cones. So I just do this by rolling the piece of clay onto a wooden board. This is a plywood topped table that doesn't have any varnish on, so it's really good at um, allowing you to manipulate your clay without it sticking to the surface. So I just roll it up into a basic cone shape and I do this while the clay is still soft and malleable. After I've done that, I then flatten off the bottom just so it's quite sturdy when it stands up and then I leave the clay to dry out. So you're looking for the clay to be around leather hard so that it's not um, deformable but you can put your nail in and it will leave an indent which means it's perfect for carving. So now that the cones have dried out a little, I'm ready to do the more decorative carvings. So this is to make them look like these cute little mini mountains. And this type of carving I usually do on my Kurunuki pieces, the more textured ripped clay. And I find that these DIY filler knives are best for doing these. I have a few different sizes in these knives and you just want to pick one that works best for you. Here I've chosen the smaller the smaller size of knife just because it's a little bit easier to work with, especially because these ring holders are quite small. And um, if you don't have one of these knives, even a butter knife or a kitchen knife will really work well. I've tried it with those and you get very similar textured rips. So it can be really fun just to try this technique out with any um, knives or items you have lying around your house just to experiment with different um, carvings and what kind of marks you can make. So for these little ring holders I'm faceting the outside in lots of different angles because I want it to look more random and natural so I just make sure that I take away the clay in a way that doesn't look too uniform or like I'm making a pattern. And once I'm happy with how the outside is, I'm stamping the bottom. And what you wanna do is just make sure that the top is thin enough to hold your ring. And as I've used stoneware clay to make these ring holders, I first put them through a bisque firing. This is to get them ready for glazing. So you can see here that the colors change, so the water has been drawn out of the clay. And this is the first step on their way to become ceramic. I have made quite a few of these little ring holders because I wanted to dip them in all the different types of glaze I have. So um, there you can see them just a little pile of these little mini mountains. So next I then glaze them. When I glaze, I like to do one dip, so that means I pick glazes that give a lot of interest without having um, more complicated applications. So here I've just dipped it in and let some of the raw clay show through at the bottom. I then go in for a second dip once that glaze has dried out a little because I think glazes that give variations, whether they're applied thickly or thinly, work really nicely. And what you also want to look with glazes is the ones that break over texture or over edges and those really let the carvings um, show through. So here are a few that I've picked up from the glaze firing. So here I fire to um, cone six or 1200 degrees centigrade. And here you can see a few different colors I've picked out. I really like the one on the left, which looks like an icy mountain. So you can see the glaze has been double dipped at the top where you can see the color more clearly. And some of these glazes kind of flow down and you can see the glaze flowing through the different carvings, which I think looks really pretty. I will have lots of these available on my shop, which is going live on the 3rd of October, 2021. So if you'd like to grab one of these, I'll leave a link down below. Thank you.